For a limited time only, gimme Kissmas merch. Let's do this. If there's anything here, so oh, oh, there's something on that shelf. Look, 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 look. This is one of my favorite places I've ever explored. Roland's very first time. Yeah. So this is the Tonopah Liquor Company. I spent the night upstairs a couple nights, also known as the Harlot House. We're starting out in probably one of the most haunted places of the Tonopah Liquor Company. We're gonna watch our head here. Okay. And then there's a black pipe. Oh boy. And that's the panga. Hi there. Watch your head right there. Yeah, Roland, you have to watch your head, bud. Yeah, I will have to. And that is my friend Tiffany. She mm -hmm. owns the place. This is an amazing place. Amazing, amazing. Has there been any more stories with the basement? I know a lot of people don't like going down in this basement. Mm -hmm. I had a, we did a speaker box uh -huh. um, with another group. It brought tears to my eyes because there's been a spirit that I've had um, a relationship with since I've been here and I never got to hear her voice and I heard her voice and it literally, the moment I heard her voice, I started like tears. I was like, and you knew it was so her? I did. Yeah. What did she say? I think, yeah, so funny is I went home and I was like, what did she say? I don't <laughs> even remember. It was just like hearing her voice and just, it just, it was like. You knew it was her. It. Mm -hmm. That's pretty awesome. I heard her voice and I was like, oh my God, that was totally Hattie. That's so super cool. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, when I was here last time, I was in the basement and I heard somebody up there and there's nobody up there unless it was you. That's Kimmy. Hi there. Hi. Now she's got some really good stories for us because she lives here. <laughs> so she's going to share all the awesome stories here. You don't even go down in this basement, do you? Why, why is that? I'll excuse myself. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Tiffany. Big shout out to Tiffany Thank and her husband for allowing us to be here. So you would never come down here alone, huh? So I went down once and it was just to check a bottle to see because we had earthquakes happen and we wanted to see if there was any damage. Mm -hmm. When we came down here, the, I think it's the cooler or ice box, the door was closed and then we came back down here to see the boxes and if any glasses had broke and the door had opened and I bolted. <laughs> I was out of here. I caught that door moving on camera before. <laughs> Yeah, and I caught something falling to the ground in here, in in the basement before. And it's always at the very end. You ready? I'm ready. I have a rather unique idea, but remind me to share it with you after we hang out down here together. Yeah, after you. <laughs> after me, okay. <laughs> hey, this is the old cooler, right? Yeah. All right, yeah. I've caught that, mo and you said that happened to you too, right? It yeah. like opened up and closed on its own. And it wasn't just like soft, either. it was kind of violent. And the door's pretty heavy too, so it just doesn't make sense. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> Whoa. Wait, did you put that there? Oh, man. No? <laughs> there's, a, there's a skull in there, and a, and a hand. Yeah, I have it put down too. Was there any damage? Um, from the earthquake? Uh, so, not our building, but right next door, parts of their building fell. Mm -hmm. And um, down here, there was believe, a machine down there. A couple of bottles fell over. Oh, that fell over? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I remember I caught something that was right in front of this column. It like moved and then I went around it and. There's always things being thrown. Down yeah. There. Have you had anything thrown at you? No. So, Kimmy lives in the Harlot House with her fiance. I've experienced some things up there. I've heard moaning. Uh, beds have, move. Beds the door move. Door slam. The She's sweets. got a lot of stories. Wow. Yeah, the suite's insane. We were in there for a while, mm -hmm. and we'd have all the heaters going. It's like you'd get this rush of ice cold, and then the curtains would move, but then there's nothing to move them. No to, draft of air or nothing? No. And the TV would shut off on its own. So we moved to room one, because we were like, not happening. <laughs> <laughs> and the suite's like the nicest one. 
Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering why you weren't staying in the suite, so. Yeah. That's I'm, why. I made that my little storage area. <laughs> I love this place. <laughs> the creepier, the better, right? Oh, we're in a creepy one for sure. Oh, look. This is where maybe at one point they used to maybe do deliveries. They would, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kimmy, do you know where the mine tunnels? Was there any at one point a mine tunnel down here? I'm not too sure. Tiffany would definitely know that one. Okay. Oh, boy. Because I think there's over like 500 miles of tunnels down here. Yeah. The Mizpah has wow. some tunnels that run yeah. through there. You get a lot of activity. Definitely. Oh, yeah. So the Mizpah, I just mentioned it right now. It's across the street. I did a video there. I did a couple videos there. One of them's called like the Lady in Red. That was the first time. Like we were sleeping and a towel. I don't know if James threw a towel or or maybe a towel fell from somewhere, but in this, and that's not the freaky part. As the towel is passing by, like in the front of the camera view, a woman's face, as clear as day, appears within this towel. I've never caught anything like that before. And also, that is the first place ever that I caught a full body apparition moving, and it scared the hell out of me. That was probably one of the places that just like you can hear it in my voice that I was terrified. I don't know what I saw. There was nobody down there with us. It was me and James. That was crazy. You all right? Yeah. Have you guys ever been in the basement of the Mizpah? It's super, super crazy. I caught a woman moving down there. So the lady in red, and do you know the backstory behind her? Yes. Yeah, so yeah. I definitely, my uncle and aunt stayed there and she does not like men. She, that's her most active, is when there's a man in her room, cannot do it. And my uncle had her own experiences with them. And What was your uncle's experience? From what I remember him telling me, the bathtub, they kept hearing noises in the bathtub and they're like, there's no way there's pipes because he's a plumber. So he knows what is a pipe, what's not. And from what he said, you know, he's seen apparitions, he's everyone walking by. The heater, something about the heater kept going on and off. Yeah. So I have to call him, I can easily do that and get his full testimony. But they said it was really fun, except when Walker came to the room, and they said whenever there was a man in this room, that's when this the lady in red just went crazy. Well, I slept in that room. Yeah. And I didn't have a bad experience. I mean, other than the face appearing. Yeah. Yeah. But, but that's when she's most active, is when a man. Because, like, if it was just a woman, we probably wouldn't have any. We'd probably think it's a normal room if you didn't tell us. Well, it was two men because I had my, it was my friend. We both slept in the same bed that night. That same night, it was crazy. It was like, I felt some negativity, but when he left in the morning and I stayed sleeping, I don't know what he was doing, but I had actually a, it wasn't like a negative experience. I actually smelled like an aroma. There is a set, was it lavender? It was like, yeah, yeah. it's like lavender or something. I don't remember it being lavender, but it was a sweet smelling perfume. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was me dreaming, but I felt like there was a woman in the bed with me. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing bad. I mean, maybe she liked me. Maybe, maybe there's a ter certain type of man that she doesn't like. That could be it. Maybe a ton of hot man she don't like. <laughs> was she like a prostitute? Yeah, pretty much, huh? Yeah. And then she, her husband found her. So she was a prostitute. She actually came here quite often. Where basically worked upstairs. And the husband found her. and didn't know, and he killed her. Okay, yeah. story's coming back to me. And then the guy that she would mess around with, he didn't like that very much, so he went and attacked him as well. So it was like, mm -hmm. he went after just about anybody he could. Double whammy. Yeah. I wonder if the lady in red worked here sometimes in the brothel upstairs. I was told she did. Oh. Ah. Uh, we actually, when they tried putting the words on the doors, the names of the ladies, we actually tried getting her name up there, but we couldn't justify if she did or if she didn't and we wanted to make sure we kept it all true hmm. let's ask <laughs> so upstairs on the we're we're on the basement floor first floor second floor on the second floor it is an old brothel and it's super nice at one point i think tiffany and mark right right they were gonna fix it up and do airbnb they fixed it all up it's in very nice condition it's beautiful up there so they're still working on that maybe sometime in the future they'll have it open right now they're staying up there and oh we're gonna go up there in a little bit we're gonna show you maybe we can catch some activity what's the craziest thing so far because you're there almost every night what's the craziest i was sitting so he works crazy hours uh -huh. so he never knows when he can get off 
I was sitting in front of the TV in the kitchen and I was like, okay, maybe he's calling when I didn't hear him or didn't notice. So I went down there and there was nothing there. And then I went back and sat down and texted him, are you coming home? He's like, no, not for another three hours. And it happened again. It went what? straight into the wall. Who has SLS? It picks up humans, you know, but sometimes there shows. There's nothing human over here. <laughs> here an alien. We should definitely take this upstairs. Yeah. There's anything here? Show oh, oh! There's something on that shelf. Look, 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 look. There's t something taking form. What the heck? Are you here with us? Are you the lady in red coming to pay us a visit? Are there any more of you? Oh, shit, look at that. Uh. Something appeared right over here. Uh. Show yourself again. Not on the shelf anymore. Are you still here? You're there now, huh? I see you. Can you throw something at us? You can show yourself again. Don't be shy. I know that there's more than one of you down here. Something there. It's back over here again. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's probably just seeing things. No, I'm not seeing things. What did you guys see? No, I just saw something black, but it's, you yeah. know, it's just... I saw something like black. Oh, it's the gray thing? Yeah. Okay. So it wasn't just me. Now these apps that I'm using, legit apps, trusted by many paranormal investigators. I have links down in the description if you want to use these apps. I'm using a Spirit Box app right now, which is also in the description. I want to communicate with the spirits that are down here. You want to come say something to me? What's your name? Two. I know there's two of you. Men, women. That's a lot of talking. Be clear. You were shot? Did you die here? Are you right around us right now? Yeah. Here. I know you're here. What's your name? <laughs> Sound like a woman. A couple women. In the room, that's what I heard too. Do you want us to go up to the brothel? What is it that Kimmy's seeing? The shadow that she's seen. We want to talk to that. I don't understand you. Sometimes it's like... When you go back and listen, you might catch some things that, you know, just sounds like gibberish to you. Let me know here in the comments if you caught anything maybe that I missed that weren't in subtitles. That was cool that we caught, like, on the SLS. Yeah. 
a couple of different figures and it kept moving around it was on the shelf at first and then it it moved to the moved like back that way did you guys want to ask the spirit box something mm -hmm. no <laughs> <laughs> nope. Okay. Maybe upstairs? Yeah. Possibly. I just okay. get a really unsettling feeling. Like a heaviness on my chest. You're not gonna like my idea. Okay, what's your idea? You should be down here by yourself. Oh hell no. I'll think about it. Are we, okay, <laughs> by ourselves or like two of us? No, like her. All by herself. Down here. At least for like ten minutes. You can keep my rosary if you want. Lights on or off? It's up to you. If you feel more comfortable with the lights on. Okay. And you could you could mm -hmm. film it. Okay. Just go like ten minutes, like raw, uncut. Think maybe you'll connect with whatever's down here a little bit better. It doesn't seem friendly. It doesn't seem friendly? No. Why do you feel like it's not friendly? Just the door opening aggressively and oh, things being thrown. Yeah. And not necessarily at me, but it was I don't know. Somebody's going caca. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. So I used to think that even a spirit scratching you would be like something that's negative. But have you ever seen the movie Ghost? Mm -hmm. Remember when he was really trying hard to like do things physically? And you know, I, I feel like sometimes there's some spirits that want to get our attention. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they're evil, even if they accidentally hurt you. You know, maybe, I mean, think about how many times have you accidentally hurt somebody? Maybe just being playful or maybe whatever's down here. I mean, I'm not ruling out that it's that it's not evil or it is evil, but what if? It's just trying to get your attention. Yeah. You know, maybe you should approach it that way and see. I mean, you'll know if it's evil if you have that mindset now. You know, if you kind of ask you like, hey, look, I want you to know that I know that you're here. You know, if you want, you can get my attention however you like. But that's how I feel. I feel like there are certain spirits that might just want to get your attention. Though they may hurt you, they're not necessarily evil. I think the door opening aggressively could have just been something really just trying to get your attention. Like it wants you to know that it's here. Maybe it has a story. Maybe it's trying to connect with you because you have a similar life story to this entity i mean it's pretty normal to be scared of it sometimes these spirits feed off fear especially malevolent ones yeah. so spend a little time down here don't be fearful what would you do i would do it yeah Copy you can do it too right? spend some time alone down here i'll do it too all right we're gonna do that you want to do it right now we'll wait upstairs for you it's 10 minutes lights off lights off <laughs> 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 out of my choice <laughs> i changed my mind okay lights on Lights on. I think it's a big step. She never wants to come down here in the basement. So this is a pretty big deal. Her being down here by herself. You can do it. I got a protective crystal that you could hold on to. Oh, thank you. That's okay. cool. Yeah. Turn off all the lights. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, no, we're doing it. I get you. <laughs> I feel really bad for Kimmy, but I think she needs to really connect with what's down here because it's been trying to get her attention. Are you really gonna turn off the lights? No, because I have to and I was gonna deal with it later. Okay. You can leave. I, I did give, I gave her a really nice flashlight. She, I noticed she has a stronger connection with spirits, so I don't want to push it with her. Good. So That's good. Maybe after some time, maybe things will decide, but if This is a huge step for Kimmy. Yes. Right now, huge step. Big shout out to this young lady facing her one of her hardcore fears. It's hard to tell because you can hear the walking. When I go to and I heard a laugh. I said, "Is there anybody here?" Make yourself known. You want to do it over? <laughs> want to do another ten minutes? Like we'll go up to the third floor. There'll be no walking at all. Oh, man. Uh -huh. Take it up or not? Up to that. <laughs> Hey, this is a huge, huge step. She d never goes in that basement. Did you experience anything while you were down there alone? Just the me thinking, like, I thought I heard a laugh. The laugh, right. And then a creech, like, from the door, but that's about it. Wow, I wonder if you caught that laugh on camera. I'd have to look back. I'm pretty sure I think I had it rolling. Oh, sweet. You want to go down there? Yeah. By yourself for a little bit? Oh, yeah. Okay. Lights off? Yeah, lights off. Okay. Hey, you did good. I am so proud of you. I was talking to, to Kimmy earlier, and one of the first things I asked was like, hey, what's up with that basement? She's like, I don't go down there. Like, I, I won't even go down there with somebody. So this is, just her being down there is a huge deal. So big shout out to you. You did good. Next time you're gonna spend the night down there. 
<laughs> Alright fam, so I'm gonna go into the basement alone. Just gonna prove it to you. There goes Roland right there. Hey Roland, can you close that door actually? Oh yeah. Alright, cool. Close it, man. And safe, the ladies are back over there. Hello? Oh wow, look, something was coming up. I see you. Are you there in front of me? You can hear the ladies talking upstairs. So, Kimmy and Roland both, while spending time down here, their batteries died on their cameras. Are you going to kill my battery? Oh my god. I see you. What are you doing there? You're moving a lot there. Are you really there? It's facing us now. You just stay right there, okay? Don't come near me. Okay, that was definitely not me holding a camera plus my phone. I've seen you over here earlier. Are you still here? Now there's a few of you down here. Open that door for me again, just like you did last time. Oh, there it goes again. Oh, wow. Look at all those orbs. A lot of orbs. Why is it a different color now? It was green before. Does purple mean it's evil or something? Something in front of us too. Oh my gosh. I've never seen so many orbs in my life. Who are you? Oh my god. Okay.
Wow. I better not be you, Roman. Sound like there was rocks just dropping from like here or something. Wow, that was intense. It was fun though. There's something definitely in that basement. Definitely, 100%. All you guys were up here, right? It sounded like somebody was throwing rocks at me, like little rocks. I heard something like kind of move right by me. It was almost one of those cardboard boxes and then the stairs. It sounded like somebody was walking on the stairs and there was nobody there. Yeah. You guys promised you were up here. Yeah, no, we were sitting and the only person that moved was Tiff, but uh -huh. for the most time we were just standing still. So, yeah. No movement up here. Wow. You guys want to see the brothel? Well. You want to see a brothel? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Yeah. to the old brothel. I think this is the room. It sounded like there was a woman moaning in it. It's crazy because it's set up like a brothel. Yeah. Like you can kind of tell. Is this the room right here? So it went from in there. In the door, the first time where it went from the door to the suite, the door was open, and then when the door was closed, because I closed it, it went straight into the wall. What? It was fast. I guess this is being used as storage. Is there any spirits in here? with a spare box on and then we'll leave because it was a brothel you know they're attracted to men so not a bad idea i didn't tell you i, I had something touch me in this room wait 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 there was a woman talking that wasn't you guys no that's thought he said something wait what Wait, that wasn't you? No. The only person that's here is Randy and Mighty Scooch. Who was that? We heard you. Talk again. <gasps> it was like a light moan. It was. No, it was, just, just, it was definitely a woman's song. Yeah, I knew. And I was real clear, so I turned around and asked you. Wow. Well, this battery just went right off. Whoa. <laughs> Look, there's something at the makeup station. Look, 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 look. On my SLS. It's like it's something. It's sitting too. It's like sitting down on the makeup stool. Look at that. That's where you be doing your makeup? There's something there. Uh, look, my battery's dying. Yeah, mine just went right out. Now I'm on my phone. Are you the spirit that touched me while I was sleeping on this bed? Still there. I'm gonna move over here and see if I could still see that. It's still showing up in that area. Whoa. It was weird. It, it almost like went inside you. It's connecting with you right now. 
It's still there. Otherwise, you know, are you, are you know, maybe I should try to feel it because I don't know how to describe it. It's like heavy, you're heavy. You feel a heaviness there? You take off the jacket and you know, it's oh. a heavy jacket, but I do feel very heavy. It's not there anymore. It's not? Okay. No. Let's see. It's probably on you. Oh, yeah. You have two things on you right now. Okay. What the hell? Wait, look, look, look. Just to give you an, an idea. The There's one there. Um, Roland's too close. But there's two figures. What the heck? It almost looks like it's like trying to get freaky with with you there. <laughs> we are the brothel. With this door too, that's where they used to stand outside and, and you know used to open and they'd get their attention on the street and be naked and they would advertise. Yeah, so definitely recreate maybe recreate some of the with their past lives, you know. Is it still near or well, it's not, it's not with you anymore. Okay. It's not here anymore. I don't like that. See, now, now, I don't feel it heavy. I, the second one, like, beside me, you feel heavy. You feel like, yeah. Ooh. Are you in here with us still? <laughs> oh, it's gone. Anything, so. You're haunted now. <laughs> so a couple years back when I was down in the basement, there was a Jenga, I think that's what you call it, it was set up over there, and I heard it come tumbling down violently. I guess it's happened before, and it even happened to my friend James when he was here. She was telling me, the owner Tiffany, that sometimes you'll get skeptics that come through here and they know that they hear about the hauntings. Well, there was a guy in particular that was here and he was very skeptical. And right in front of him, like there was a, a bottle of tequila with some f sort of cork and it shot up in the air right in front of them both. And he was like, wait a minute. Guess I'm gonna have to rethink this skepticism that I'm having. And it just, it freaked everybody out. It was really cool. It happened right over there. But anyways, huge shout out to the Tonopah Liquor Company for allowing us to come here. Big shout out to these ladies hanging out with us and showing us the, the brothel upstairs in the basement. And oh my gosh, I give you a lot of credit. Like she hung out in the basement, she never goes down there. So big shout out to her for doing that. I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. Links will be down in the description to all my friends, especially here at the Tonopah Liquor Company. You gotta go for now before you leave. Give me a kiss.